Dave. We're going to talk about some redfish here at the Academy of Sports Rigs and Techniques, the CCA, CCA workbench. CCA workbench, here we go. You know, I, I kind of grew up in the Central East region. I went to school over in Satellite Beach High School, and I was a Dolores Scotty for a little while. So the first uh, big fish I caught was a redfish in salt water. That's a and case I was for a, a lot of people. Guy, and then, you know, I had my bass stuff, and I went out with my Zebco 202 and got spooled by a couple of what we called channel bass back then. Right. And, uh, and from then it was history you know you got you got locked onto those things because they're so much fun Th that's the beautiful thing about redfish is yeah. you, anybody can catch them they're readily available and you can catch them on all kinds of different stuff they eat all, they eat all kinds of stuff they eat a lot of stuff they eat crabs and and uh, minnows all kinds of fishes the shrimp you know anything that is uh, lives on those flats they in it. that grass they're gonna eat it so we got some of the stuff that you like to use when you're out yeah fishing. you know this is as simple as it gets right here. This Everybody is just, starts with a jig head. Right. And a live this is shrimp. just a right, a jig head and imagine this being a live shrimp. Right. Hook them through the tail. You can pinch the tail off, which I like to do to get a little scent going. But this rig right here, it, it'll catch redfish anywhere. That's called the fish. I call that the fish finder. There, there you go. That's why I use that. That's what I yeah, call it. Yeah, and you just basically can cast this into a creek hole up by where I am. Right cast it out on a flat and let it sit, but a real easy rig and it casts pretty good too. So right. that's that's a great, simple, and you can put a mud minnow or a mullet or a shrimp or a dead shrimp, you can put anything on there right. and that works for redfish. You get big trout can eat those things that's too. That's right. What uh, else you, you know, got there? Another simple rig and this is a great setup for kids, you know, and, and also for tournament anglers use this too. But this is just a simple popping cork. As many people use that, I've, I've never used those things and I see people using those things all the time, so I know they're using them for a reason. They work great. They make some noise, so it attracts the fish over. You can put whatever you want to underneath there. Again, a live shrimp is great. Probably the best. Yeah, a, a minnow or even a, a soft plastic works really well, too. Um, but that's that catches a lot of fish. It's simple. Cast it out, pop it, let the fish come find it. Good for kids, too, great right? Great for kids. Great for anybody. I mean, that's that's a great, <laughs> great rig. Now, you're getting a little more advanced here. Right. And this is uh, for the artificial guys, the tournament guys. They like to... They like to toss these soft plastics and this rig right here, a jerk bait on a weighted weedless hook. I've tossed this in every redfish tournament I've ever been in all across the state. You prefer it with the weight on the, on the I shank? I like the or? weight because you can, you can cast it a little bit further. Yeah. But you can, it also, when you bring it to the fish, if you're sight fishing, you can still present it real nice and subtle. You know, you can, you can kind of slide it in front of the fish without scaring them right. and let it sit and then maybe move it a little bit. This rig right here will work everywhere and, and it's great. But now going back to simplicity on the soft plastic side, a jig head with a paddle tail. This is a little different. You can just cast this out and just straight reel it in. You don't right. need to jig it or do anything crazy with this. Right. Cast it out, reel it in, let that paddle do the work. Now, when you're, when you're out there, like where I fish, we have a lot of weeds, so you probably couldn't use that jig head like that. You'd probably have to use the... You could put a weedless hook on these as well. It works great. With the paddles too? Yep. And, uh, and now this is probably my favorite thing to do, especially this time of year. This is a Rapala skitter walk. Right. Uh, I mean, the greatest bait of all time in my opinion. I mean, it's, just, <laughs> it's, it's awesome. Uh, redfish come up and smash this thing. It's got a great rattle in it. Um, and again, this works everywhere. The it's my favorite bite in the yeah. world is to watch those things eat that. Now, it does take a little technique to get this thing going. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Rapala, this is a fairly new plug from Rapala. This is the Skitter V, right. which I also use a lot. It's got a nice little V on the bottom. Walks a lot easier. Walks a little easier. So if you're starting out, you know, just starting to try to do the walk the dog type thing, this is mm -hmm. a great plug to start with, and it works really well. It's a good size, plus, too. Yeah, plus it's small. Again, we were talking the other day but I, about having a, a small profile. I like to have small profiles for my topwater plugs is those they have that lower, that mouth is under side, underneath their mouth, their head. So when they come up, they have to bring their whole head out of the water to eat it, right. which is why I like to watch them eat it. Cause I have in, buried in my head That's right. so That's many cool times sight. a picture of those big white lips coming up to swallow that plug off the surface. And sometimes if the plug's real big, they will push it out of the way. Mm -hmm. So that something this size can be really great for that. To me, uh, if I'm going red fishing, this is the first thing that I put on all the time because I'm usually in a search mode. I don't even have a trolling motor on the front of my boat. I don't like to have that, you know, I don't, I, I like to be really, really quiet. Right. So I'm throwing that spoon a long way when I'm searching and that it's, thing just works it really works good great. for me. You know, especially down where you fish for them at Mosquito Lagoon, right. you can toss this a mile. It's weedless. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, you can bring it through the grass and this is another, just cast it out and retrieve. Right. And they do, man, this is, you know, kind of old school, but it still works really, yeah, really we, well. They haven't evolved beyond eating the gold spoon yet. No, 
they no, still they like to eat it. And you know, this is just real quick. This is some of the new stuff. I mean, that looks like a mullet. Yeah. This is the same thing, but it's not weedless, but you can rig this weedless as well. That live target. It Any looks, of these it bigger looks just, soft it looks just like a mullet. It looks like a it? mullet. Yeah. yeah. So that's uh, it, they'll eat all that stuff, which is the, what, what makes redfish so great. That's why we yeah. love them. Yep. Thanks, Thanks guys. Dave. Appreciate it. Well, we're it. learning things over here on the Florida Insider Fishing Report. That's for sure.